Hello, my name is Jerry Ruiz and I'm a developer at Genway Computer Systems. We at Genway Computer Systems are creating a series of short but powerful videos in TIPCOS Spot Fire version 7.6 to assist you in enhancing your data formatting skills and to ensure you are getting the most out of Spot Fire. In this example, we will take a look at the Key Performance Indicator Chart or the KPI Chart feature. A KPI is a performance measure which is designed to show you at a glance how well the business is meeting one of the set objectives. In this demonstration, I will show you the design of the current KPI and what this feature looks like on an iPad, smartphone or smart device. Please note that we are unable to create KPI charts in Business Author and all of the design work will be done in Analyst on the desktop. For this example, we will use a dataset that has been collected from a sales analysis which compared projected sales to actual sales for dairy products by stores across 21 states. In our next tab, we can see four colored tabs or tiles. This represents the total amount of sales by product group. The groups are colored by a custom percentage rule. The green represents sales that are higher than 40%, yellow are between 40 and 10%, and red is below 10% of sales. To create a KPI chart, you simply have to click on the KPI chart icon, which is next to the heat map button. If we select the yogurt sales, we are directed to the next visualization, which shows us a comparison between total sales and total sales plan by date. If we want to drill down further, we can select the month of sales that interests us, for instance, February of 2014. And our next visualization on the bottom right will generate the comparison between total sales and total sales plan by store. Here we have the capability to have an overview of how each store compared with their sales and planned sales. If we select Brace Food, our next visualization in the bottom right reflects the total amount of sales versus the total sales plan for each product. Here you can view and compare product sales for that store. This is a basic drawdown to ensure that the person who accesses this KPI can have a quick overview of the total amount of sales compared to total amount of sales plan. Even though there can be a more detailed analysis, the KPIs are typically used to provide a short overview for people who are on the go or just want a summary overview without having to draw down too much. Now let's take a look at how the KPIs are configured and what is required for this chart to perform its best on mobile and smart devices. To access the properties of the KPI, simply right click and mouse over to properties and click, and then select KPIs. Here you can add, duplicate, remove, or access the settings of the KPI. Once you have multiple KPIs, you will be able to either move them down or up. If we select the Sales Per Date and Product Group KPI and click on Settings, our Settings panel opens up. The default settings for this panel is to open in the Values tab, as this is where you do the majority of the setup and creating of the KPI. We have selected Total Sales for our Y axis and Date by Month for our X axis. We selected Product Group for our Tile By and Total Sales Plan as our comparative value. The settings tab for both x-axis and tile by are the same options. When we click on one, we have the ability to change the access mode between continuous and categorical, and we can select how we want to evaluate the access expressions by either all data or current filtering only. The help button will access the user's guide and explains how to use advanced settings in detail. Another feature that we can set up is color grading rules and points in the same manner we can in other visualizations. We can also change the sorting order. When we right click on the chart and mouse over to sort order, we can choose how we want the tiles to be sorted. We can choose between no sorting, alphabetical, reversed alphabetical, best first, and worst first. The next option in the settings panel is really what drives KPIs on mobile devices and smartphones. This is the actions tab. When we click on settings, the action settings panel is opened and we can create and set up actions in our KPI. Note that you can only select click to perform action. You are unable to insert buttons, links or images as you can in text areas. We are also able to use scripts and data functions. Once we have selected which actions we want to use for our KPI, we click OK. There is also a subsets tab and show hide items tab, 
which is exactly the same as in other visualizations. We can click close and click close again. Our KPI is created and ready to be used on a smartphone, iPhone, iPad or smart device. When we access the app, we can view a couple of samples that Spotify has already created. When we select the settings tab, we can select which library we would like to access. You can ask your systems administrator to connect your smart device to the correct library. Once you have access to the library, we can select which analysis we would like to view and tap on the icon to open it. Here we can see how the KPI truly works. In this screen we can see our KPI tiles for total sales compared to total sales plan and grouped by product group. When we tap on Milk we are directed to the next panel where our first visualization in the top shows us the total amount of sales compared to total sales plan by month. Here we can tap on a month we want to view and our next chart bottom left reflects the total amount of sales compared to total amount of sales planned by store. If we select a store, our last visualization bottom right reflects the total amount of sales compared to the total amount of sales plan by product. As you can see, this is a great feature to use on a mobile or smart device if you are unable to have access to your analysis from your computer, but want to have a quick and informed overview of information prior to a meeting or just want to stay on top of what is happening. I hope you have found this demonstration interesting and helpful. Our contact information is on the screen should you wish to reach out to us for assistance in implementing this technique. Thank you.